Hi, and welcome to PowerShell Fire Recipes by Pact Publishing. My name is Vidar Kongsli, I live in Oslo, Norway, and I work as a full-time consultant, software architect and developer. I have 16 years of experience working on several platforms such as Lotus Notes, Java and the web. For the last 10 years I've worked with Microsoft products such as ASP.NET, and I'm currently focusing on information security, continuous delivery and cloud computing. I've been an active PowerShell user for many years, being a PowerShell enthusiast and, may I say, a PowerShell geek. This course will give you an introduction to PowerShell as well as peeking into the various areas where PowerShell can be applied before it dives into advanced programming concepts. So, whether you are new to PowerShell or have some experience or want to use PowerShell in a certain area, this course has something to offer. Let's briefly talk about the various parts of the course. In the first section, we will be getting starting with PowerShell before in section 2 we talk about the basic concepts. Section 3 is about how you can get PowerShell onto your specific platform, regardless of whether it's any Windows system or a Linux system. Section 4 covers Windows management tasks, while Section 5 is about managing Microsoft Azure resources. Section 6 is about writing automation scripts that can be used in a continuous delivery scenario or for simply streamlining your build and automation process. Section 7 covers the desired state configuration being a domain specific language in PowerShell for provisioning and configuration. We then move on to more advanced topics starting with structuring scripts in section 8 before we cover advanced programming in section 9. In section 10 we create reusable scripts using modules before we take a peek under the PowerShell cover and use the power of the .NET platform in our scripts. To help you on the way in this course, you should have basic programming or scripting knowledge as well as basic operating system knowledge. If you wish to follow along scripting with this course, you should have access to a computer running Windows, preferably Windows 10. Also, use ed uh, your editor of choice. Many editors have add-ons with basic PowerShell syntax highlighting and code completion, which is useful. Or you can use the PowerShell integrated scripting environment, which is also a good option. The basic idea with this course is that you can learn by doing without any theoretical lectures in the beginning. So let's dive right in. 